Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday, April 21st, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat just finished her breakfast and is under the coffee table. And I have with me this beautiful painting that we've been focusing on this week of the fish swimming upstream. There is almost white bubbles or air that comes from their mouths and some from their tails as they swim. And all this light that they generate, which produces color on either side, dimension, movement and change, swimming upstream, brings light and hope. Just as followers of Jesus bring light and hope into this broken world, which sometimes is overwhelmed by despair, we bring color, hope, and light to the world and our best selves. That's who we are intended to be. Remember that the fish was a sign of the follower of Jesus back when. We continue today in the book of Exodus. The Hebrew people have left their land of slavery and Moses gives them very important instructions. Every year they are to reenact, but the word in Hebrew isn't just to reenact, it's to remember, to do uh, remembering together. They are to remember by not eating leavened bread or grains of any kind for seven days. And on the seventh day, they are to celebrate what they will call the Passover, how God passed them over and they were allowed out of slavery, out of bondage into freedom. Moses gives them very important instructions and even says, carry the word between your eyes, which is why sometimes you see Orthodox Jews with a little box right here tied around their forehead when they pray. This act of reenactment and remembering giving thanks becomes essential for the creation of a healthy people. If we are to be whole as human beings, we must remember where we came from. We must remember generations past, not just the good things that happened, but also things that we wish had not happened. We should remember and give thanks for the fact that we're here. This ritual of Passover would ground them in their identity, assist them in remembering that it was because of God that they exist at all, which is true for all of us. We would not be here were it not for the life force that has driven us to be born from generations of people. It's miraculous when you think of it. This ritual, this liturgy, is the ancestor of the Holy Eucharist and it tells us that human beings need the sacred. We need to tell our story, not just the story of our little life. No, not that at all, but the big story, the story of generations upon generations and how our lives are fundamentally a gift given to us by God and how our freedom is the same. Worship is essential for the health and grounding of a human being in any world religion. We must remember who we are. If we forget, we become aimless and lost. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you that so long ago you set your people free instructing them on how to remember who they are and who you are. Give us grace to remind ourselves that worship is important for our spiritual health, for our mental health, for even our physical health. We must remember who we are and who we belong to, that we are yours and we are here only by the grace of God. Give us courage to remain faithful to the practices of our faith 
that we may be grounded in history and grateful for your goodness. Bring peace to this world, O oh Lord, grace and relief to the suffering, healing to the sick, comfort to the grieving. Call us to your service on this day, Lord, that after worshiping you, we may serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Happy Easter.